Hi, happy Labor Day from the General Equipment Repair Channel. Today I'd like to show you a quick handpiece tip that may save you some money, or it may help you provide better service to your customers. Today I'm actually going through some uh, Brassler uh, electric handpieces here, some, uh, some Forza F5s here. Um, these are one to five handpieces, and uh, this particular handpiece that I received, um, I'm going through the checks, and basic checks that I do on electric hand pieces are um, temperature checks and performance checks. Um, this one seems to be running pretty well. Um, and the only thing that I could find was with it was when I went to pull the the burr out. Uh, I was able to pull the burr out with my uh, bare hand, and I could just pull it straight out, and it felt a little bit loose. And so because of that. I want to show you a quick tip that may actually uh, be a useful way for tightening up the chuck. And um, it's pretty simple and it is uh, worth showing. So let me switch over here to a, a way that I can hold my camera and I can uh, work with two hands. All right, I'm back. So this handpiece, uh, what we're going to do is first I'll show you the problem that I was having, which is with a burr in the handpiece, I was able to basically just pull pull it out straight with my fingers. And this is a, a shipping burr for a new dental turbine. And what I should not be able to do is just pull that out like that. So there's definitely um, a problem there uh, with with this uh, with this handpiece. Now, what I'm going to show you is a is a quick uh, trick that might restore um, operation of this handpiece and maybe uh, pr provide a little bit more stiction. What you will need for this process is a um, proxy brush, and these are in most dental offices. So you just um, take a proxy brush and put a little bit of uh, handpiece lubricant. I don't think it really matters which type, as long as you just put some on there. Uh, you can use a spray type or just straight lubricant. And then I'm just going to go ahead and insert that in there and um, back and forth. And I'm just going to clean the, the, the heck out of this, out of this chuck here. All right. And I can already see, I mean, that is just really filthy, just nasty. So I'm going to take a two by two and then I'm going to take and, and just back and forth like that. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to wipe it on this. Um, and just like that. And see all that stuff that came out of there? I'm just going to do this a few times. And we're just going to kind of keep cleaning it until all that crap is out of there. And it might take a little while. There's definitely some, uh, some crevices in there and some places that that gunk can hide. But what this will do is essentially will remove all of that built up lubricant and debris in there that is keeping that uh, burr from being retained properly. So I'm just gonna kinda. And the trick here is pretty much just keep lubricating it and keep transferring that material until it basically just keep moving it to another spot. You can use like a paper towel or I just have these two by twos. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until I'm able to Out of there, and you can do this with any um, high speed handpiece, um, air driven or electric. This just happened to be one that I found, and obviously, I'm not, I don't have a crystal ball, so I'm hoping as I do this that 
it actually works. Sometimes this doesn't work, but if, I mean, what can you really lose by, by doing this? All right, all we're gonna do is keep cleaning it until, until we don't really see any more black gunk on there. These these electric handpiece uh, repairs are extremely costly, um, especially for the electrics. And this this electric here doesn't have any problems heating up. I mean, it's everything runs well. It just, everything seems all right, except for those burrs are able to just pull out by hand, which is not not good. So I'm gonna wipe her down here. Gone a few cycles there. Now let's see if I'm able to do what I was able to do before. Okay, so that's in there. Now I'm pulling and I'm like really trying here and I can't get it out by just pulling. Okay. I push the button, it goes out. That is not going anywhere. So it appears that our everything worked here. No. Let's see if we're able to. It's definitely more stronger than it was. Right, so that burr will not come out. So now, okay, not running. It's not not pulling out. Not as bad as it was. I'll double check here. I did get over overheat error. So that could still be a problem with the handpiece. 